Hey everybody, it's Braden here. Uh, today I saw a video about how to make a groin vault roof in Revit. A great video, but the thing I didn't like about it was that the way he showed it, you couldn't have the peak of these two roofs at the same height. One had to be lower than the other for Revit to work correctly. And so I figured I would take a stab at doing one of these roofs. And uh, this is what I came up with. So, a uh, similar setup, we've just got a blank architectural file here with a couple of grids, one and two, and then we've got grid line A down there. So the method I figured out was to use uh, in-place masses and then create the roof by face. So to do that, we will head over to the south elevation, and we're going to start out by making the mass. So it's an in-place mass and mass one is fine for this demo. So uh, we have to sketch the edges of the mass and we want to sketch those on the grid A uh, work plane. So we will select that here and that's not terribly important, but there we go. So our line, actually that's too far. I kind of, well, I guess 32 feet, doesn't matter. Um, then we want our arc, so I'm going to do a semicircle there, and this will be the basis of our extrusion, so I'm going to select that and create a form. So that made a 3D form, and I'm going to just go ahead and finish the mask for now. Switch over to the 3D view, and I'm going to make it longer. So there's the, uh, you know, one of the barrel vaults, and we need two of these things so they can intersect. So I'll head back over to my plan view. And these things are in my way. So I am going to rotate around the center there. That's fine. I'm going to make sure I click copy. And I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. Head back to the 3D view. So we have the two masses that we want, and now we need to join them together. So use the join tool. There we go. Spin it around briefly. So we are we have the uh, basis for our roof, and so we head over to the architecture tab. We're going to choose roof, and then roof by face. And we're just using generic roofs here. So select multiple, and we'll select these two roofs, create the roof, and then I'm gonna do that again with this other face, create the roof. So now our roof is done. I'm just gonna hide these uh, massing elements in the view so we get a cleaner image of what we're going for. So there we go. We have, uh, you know, both the roofs are at the same height. I think it just looks a little bit cleaner, and I figured, uh, you know, maybe I figured out something here, and I would share it with everyone else. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.